Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Talking Tech with Cynics, the show where we discuss our collection of HP consumer products and their impact on the industry. My name is Peter Boychuk, Manager of Product Management at Cynics. And my name is Sam Kuntz, Product Management Intern. And today, we'd like to thank you for joining us. On today's episode, we're going to be discussing HP's premium and gaming lineup. For the customer looking for a little bit more in their notebook, HP offers a detailed lineup of premium notebooks, each branded with a nice premium HP logo. The Envy Inspector series of notebooks provide high-end performance in a very sleek, lightweight design that can handle many of our day-to-day -day tasks, whether that be multiple files open at once for reporting, multimedia editing, or even just you know everyday schoolwork, or cynics work for that matter. <laughs> Now, a little bit later in the show, we'll be joined by our guest from HP, Mike Robinson, who is the category lead for consumer notebooks at HP. We will discuss our upcoming gaming roadmap with him today. And finally, we have a small assortment of premium note uh, notebooks that just landed at Cynics for everyone here today. Now, Sam, do you actually own a gaming laptop? So, Pete, you know, funny that you ask. I actually recently, uh, yes, I do. Just of late. <laughs> okay, what uh, what did you get? Uh, I got the uh, the Omen 15, which is uh, one of the new guys that they have going on. I uh, am currently playing Fall Guys and a first person uh, shooter called Enlisted. Okay, all right, that's pretty cool. I'm I'm aware of Fall Guys, uh, aware of Fall Guys, but Enlisted I'm not not too familiar with. But but is the HP Omen 15 powerful enough to play all these you know top tier? Games easily, that you got? easily, and I guess to go into a little bit more detail here, Pete, uh, Enlisted is uh, very similar to your Call of Duties, your things like that, got it. except on a bigger scale. So you're dealing with huge maps, huge lobbies, so I mean, in order to run a game like that, you're going to need to have a computer that can really process it and, you know, do it justice. Got it. No, that's great to hear. Well, you know, you know it's funny because uh, in terms of uh, gaming PCs, I also kind of really started gaming on my notebook when HP brought forward the Omen lineup. I really didn't own a gaming PC before. I mean, I was a very big console gamer, right? You buy this console, play the games that came out for it. But uh, when HP started, you know, to, to dabble in gaming PCs, I went headfirst into it. I was really passionate about it, and I started to kind of really say, all right, let's, let's try this out. Yeah. The moment I got my very first Omen, and it was a very different kind of configuration than what's available today. In fact, yeah. this Omen, you had a touch screen, which okay. you don't see on many gaming PCs anymore. But as soon as I got into it, I found that this is the right product. I know that there's going to be a crazy market for it. And so, you know, when HP brought that out, I was fully behind it. And I talked to HP and like, guys, I really want to do something really big with this brand. And they've been very supportive of all the different ideas that we've kind of come up with. So, you know, I, that's that was my first foray into it. And today I'm, I'm a proud owner of three different HP Omens that I've had to purchase because of my uh, my passion there. Yeah, for sure, <laughs> Pete. I mean, just to kind of echo and kind of go along with what you've been saying here, you really aren't the only one in this position. We're seeing more and more gamers, both you know, competitive, hardcore, or you know, just getting started, moving towards you know, notebooks for gaming rather than consoles. Yeah, so portable, so fast, and I mean, they are condensing these these notebooks into fairly small systems, mind you, without compromising screen size that make it so portable, but so powerful at the same time, Pete. You're seeing so many, so many more streamers nowadays that are moving towards, you know, specifically Omens, due to the fact that the streaming capabilities on that while maintaining such high quality gameplay are pretty well unrivaled. Absolutely, yeah. And I really like the fact that our roadmap at Cynix, you know, of all the different kind of configurations that we carry, you know, we've got models for the enthusiasts. Yep. And we got models for just, you know, the everyday, you know, everyday game player that wants something, you know, opening price point, so to speak. Exactly. Yep. Um, you know, I've always kind of been someone who's had multiple laptops for the things that I'm looking to do. You know, sure, I'm a bit privileged working at Cynix, having uh, access to all these different mm. laptops. But even beforehand, I've always had a dedicated home and work laptop. And, you know, for a while back, I was really kind of struggling because I was always carrying around two different laptops right. everywhere I went. But that's when I started to kind of go towards my current laptop right now, which is a Spectre X360. And, you know, the reasons why I started to go towards getting a Spectre X360 device is it actually was capable of doing everything that my home PC was, was able to do 
as well as work PC. So right. the Spectre series is a lightweight, portable product. It's got top-of-the-line specs, and that's the thing about the consumer PCs at Cynix. We're always re-releasing these devices with the latest Intel generation processors, as well as you know, the latest kind of memory upgrades, as well as configurations. I mean, most of our HP computers now all come with Wi-Fi 6, which is fantastic for the work-from-home environment, Absolutely. where if I want to go to the backyard and, and play or do some uh, work, I can actually get pretty strong connectivity there, and that's really a, a benefit, I find. Absolutely, Pete. And, uh, you know, as you mentioned, you know, with the work-from-home, people are, are really finding a need for some of these premium models. And, yeah. I mean, the HP has, you know, done such a great job in the sense that while they are premium, there is a solid enough price range that you're not necessarily having to pay those hugely premium prices in order to get the performance of something super high, you know, highly rated and very premium. Completely agree. And, you know, I, I find that we are doing a lot of, you know, small, medium business interaction with our consumer PCs because, you know, for someone who wants to get a home PC for themselves, but then utilize that as their everyday work PC, our options are, are limitless for those types of uh, avenues. Absolutely. So that's fantastic. Um, you know what? I think uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to shoot over to a nice brand new HP Omen video about design. And uh, afterwards, we'll be joined by our guest, Mike from HP. Let's go to the video. When I first saw the Omen 15, it felt very new, yet incredibly familiar. Just that classic design where it's a black box, it's sleek, but it feels updated. I think the design of video games and the culture of video games is something that all designers could look at for inspiration because when you interact with something, you should expect feedback and something in return. When you work closely on a device for most of the day, it's really important what that device is where plastic and metal and aluminum and electronics just kind of fade away and it just feels like I'm just translating what's in my head into a coherent image in front of me. It makes you not really think about the device at all. Working from home and spending more time at home, your laptop really becomes a window to the outside world. My laptop is often the first thing I see in the morning and the last thing I see when my eyes close for the day. Welcome back. All right, at this time, I'd like to introduce Mike Robinson, our category lead for consumer notebooks at HP Canada to our show. Hey, Mike, welcome to Talking Tech with Cynics. Hey, Pete, good to see you, and uh, thanks for having me today. Absolutely. Well, so, Mike, now that you're here, one of the big things that we're working on at Cynix is we've got a brand new gaming notebook roadmap. And one of the big changes is the introduction of the Victus brand of gaming notebooks. Can you tell us briefly how that came about and who the Victus brand is targeted towards? Yeah, sure. Good question. You know, obviously, you guys have sold our Omen devices for, for several years now, and have had uh, we've had some really good mutual success together. But Omen, you know, it's always been our premium gaming offering. It's always emphasized the progressive and the performance side of the gaming segment for us. And really, the Victus brand, you know, it was born to introduce more mainstream gamers to a more accessible but still elevated gaming experience. Victus is going to sit at price points and configurations obviously below Omen, um, but that will allow it to target the more budget conscious gamer. All right. Yeah, thank you so much for that, uh, for that answer, Mike. Um, so we also noticed that uh, there's been a change in the screen size. There's, uh, there's no more 15 inch, uh, as the new notebooks are either coming in 16 or 17 inches. How much of a difference do you think this will really make uh, for gamers? And you know, on the other hand, for, um, for anyone with uh, take, using the computer for, for other media? Yeah, good question, Sam. So while we will still have 15-inch offerings, you're absolutely right. Most of our new offerings now um, are coming in 16-inch configurations. 16-inch really, you know, it's really going to offer the gamer a more immersive experience. Um, as you know, if you're a gamer, you know, 16 by 9, uh, you know, aspect ratio really remains one of the most common scaling methods for modern games. 
And um, that scaling and that aspect ratio works perfectly with a 16.1 inch display. So that's why, you know, on our new Victus line of products, as well as some new Omens that we've got coming out, you will see devices with 16 inch. Um, and even within the 16 inch, you know, we're going to have options running at either full HD or quad HD wow. and refresh rates uh, starting standard at 144 hertz, all the way up to 165 hertz on the Omen devices. Very nice. Very good. Super. Appreciate that. That's a big bump. Uh, you know, one of the things I, I know about, uh, you know, all the Omens that I've uh, seen in the past is they come with the Omen Command Center. Uh, now, are there any new developments on the software for the upcoming launch of these new platforms, Mike? Yeah, for sure. You know, as you know, you're right. Omen Command Center comes standard as a, uh, a built-in install on all of our gaming devices, so not just Omen. Um, but you're, you're absolutely right on spot there, Pete. So new for back to school this year, um, you know, kind of getting us into the holiday season, is a new application that will be built in to the gaming hub part of Command Center called Spectate. And what Spectate basically is, is it gives gamers an easy way to share their gaming uh, in a high quality streaming experience with interactive, you know, social and chat features built in. So kind of kind of think, you know, along the lines of Twitch, um, but with an HP flair to it, entirely free. Um, and it's really designed for a small, you know, more private gatherings or gaming parties, uh, which are invite only. So, so the gamer that's actually using the HP device that has Spectate installed, they can send a link to their friends via email. The friends don't need to download Omen Gaming Hub or download a version of Spectate. They can access the stream directly in their browser, you know, which will allow them to quickly jump in and watch. Um, and like I said, no separate download or accounts or accounts required. Wow, that's pretty cool. That's amazing. Yeah. I, I'm really looking forward to trying that out when the new product kind of launch uh, at Summer at Cynix 2021. So, you know, Mike, thank you so much for joining us today, giving us some of this insight and uh, appreciate you uh, visiting for today's episode. Yeah, thanks again for having me and uh, anytime. Cool. All right. Take care, Mike. Thanks. All right, everyone. So, I mean, it's it's time for probably our favorite part of the show, where we showcase the latest notebooks that have landed at Cynix. Uh, so, why don't we start, Sam, with with your notebook? Because you did something pretty interesting before yeah, uh, today's airing. Absolutely, Pete. So, um, right here, I have the HP Spectre X360, and something interesting about this, and you know. I'm going to leave uh, some of the conversations about specs a little bit more to, to you, Pete. Okay. I'm just going to highlight some of the really, really cool features that this laptop has. So for one, as you can see, there's a little bit of a hang on here. This right here is a little stylus pen that the X360 actually comes with. And what you didn't notice here, it's actually magnetic. So it can just hang right on there. And if you're not going overly far, it's right here with you. So I already have this guy set up. And something else interesting here as you can just see, I just opened it. Just using my face, it has a face recognition feature. And if that doesn't work, it has a fingerprint scanner. If that doesn't work, you can put in you know, a customizable pin. So this thing is very secure. You're not going to really have to worry about you know, security for, uh, for whenever you're going out. So Three different ways to log in. I like that. Exactly. So as you guys uh, can see here, it is a two-in-one. So it's basically a tablet and a computer all in one. So as you can see, I have it rotated just to the side here. And what I'm going to do, and I'm going to flip it your way in just one moment, is I'm going to show you an app that I downloaded. This is called the Sketches app. And something that you can do with this is draw, design, do just about anything you need. And I'm just going to kind of showcase that this isn't just for your hardcore artists. This is for just about anybody. So this is a little drawing I came up with the other day. So a little nurse. I'm sure we're quite familiar with uh, how they look due to, our, due to our time. So uh, what I can do here is I can just go to the next page and show you something a little bit more appropriate for skill level. So I'll do a little head, two very rough dots, a smiley face, and a body. <laughs> that seems a little bit more along the caliber <laughs> that I'm capable of doing. But are you telling me the, the photo before... You actually drew that on the Spectre X360? Yeah, guys, and I mean, this isn't the best drawing you'll ever see, 
but it's highly detailed for the amount of time it actually took me. This took me about 25 to 30 minutes to actually come up with and get all my drawing in. And for the hardcore artists out there, and you know anybody doing graphic design or anything like this, yeah. this really is perfect because you can zoom in nice and close and get as much detail into certain areas as you want. Erasing is just as easy as if it was a pencil, and the actual drawing process itself, it, it's as close to pen or pencil to paper that you can really get and make it you know, pretty nice. That's amazing. I'm glad you were able to kind of showcase one of those core features of the Spectre X360, you know, utilizing the pen that comes included with yeah. the, the package. Um, absolutely beautiful. Something, sorry, just to, just to interject one more second, Pete. One last thing I'll show with the pen. It's also USB-C type charging, so it's the exact same charger that your computer comes with. So it's All nice and one. easy. Yep. Absolutely phenomenal. That's great stuff. And you know what? I mean, the premium PCs that we carry at Cynix, you know, they are targeting creators like yourself. Yep. And so, you know, the, the brand of PCs that I'm kind of showing here today is the NV15 and the NV13. Now, these two are very different beasts, but at the same time, what I want to really highlight is just the premium look and feel of them, right? I love HP's, you know, premium Envy and Spectre logo that they put on these devices. I, uh, I absolutely adore how modern it is. Now, one of the things that I want to highlight in terms of specs on these devices is these are all branded with Intel's 11th gen uh, series of processors. And we're really proud to have that inventory right now at Cynix, so that way we've got the latest and greatest that HP has to offer from the Canadian roadmap. Now, one of the crazy things that I really want to just highlight, and I just can't get over, is on this NV15. This actually in here has the RTX 2060 graphics card. So it's, it's kind of blending into the same kind of category where we're talking about gaming notebooks. I mean, I really can't understand where they put it in here like i don't i don't i've seen an rtx 2060 up close and it certainly doesn't look like it's in this device but the truth is it is and uh because of that this is kind of a device that you're looking at for someone who's not just consuming media but they're creating it you know some of the ca applications that you used here very entry level yep. but then there, there's someone who's out there doing this for a living this is the device that is going to be their, their soulmate, right? Exactly. Because it's got the capability to handle heavy duty applications, you know, as well as do everything that you would want to as a consumer. Entry level to high end AAA titles in terms of games. So, you know, these are beautiful, beautiful devices that HP's brought to market. We're really proud to have them available at Cynix today. And uh, of course, even uh, the NV13 is a beautiful, lightweight device. I mean, it weighs probably about half the size of the NV15 because it doesn't have the dedicated video card in here, but it does have, you know, the latest generation of Intel's uh, graphics card. I believe it's the Iris graphics, which make this almost comparable to one of the entry-level uh, gaming machines that used to be in the market back in the day. So really proud to have these devices available to all today. And uh, just again, like to thanks, thank everyone for uh, joining us today. Thanks to Mike Robinson at HP for attending and being our special guest. And just hopefully everyone has a lot of fun checking out some of these new devices at Cynix Canada today.